All right, guys, so today I want to talk about this precious metal that is unique. Well, it's not really a precious metal, but it is unique. You guys want to know what's so unique about this precious metal? We'll talk about that later. But the precious metal I'm talking about is gallium. All right, it's a very unique precious metal. Some of you guys may know about it, but like I said, it's not a precious metal, but to me it is. It's, it's kind of precious. What it can do is precious, all right? And let's start now. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community over 8,000 strong. If you guys would like to help support this community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys do decide to join this community, I sincerely want to say thank you guys in advance. Question of the day. What is it about gallium that makes it so unique? Let's see if you guys know. Comment down below. Let me and the community know. No. So, what is gallium? Gallium symbol is GA, atomic number 31. And standard temperature is actually a silvery blue, but in liquid state, it's silvery white. Now, what do I mean by liquid state? That's what makes this metal so unique. If you look at my finger right now, a piece of it came off. And that's because that melting point for gallium is actually 85.58 degrees, which means it can melt so easily, it melts so fast. You don't need a furnace, you don't need a, like a blowtorch. Just holding it in the palm of your hands will melt it. Now, is gallium safe to touch? Well, obviously, yes. Well, it does leave like a whole bunch of stain in your hand. It will stain your hand. Like once I let it go, my whole hands was blue afterwards. I had to wash it. And it is a bit messy, as you guys can see. It'll leave a whole bunch of gallium pieces just laying around in your hands. But at the same time, there are some types of galliums that is unsafe to touch. Where is it that you guys can get gallium? To be honest with you, it's fairly easy. I just went on Amazon and I paid like about $16 for 50 grams of it. And I'll have the link down in the description below if you guys want to get your hands on some gallium. It comes well packaged. The only challenge is getting it out the tube. The way I had to do it, I had to put the tube in some water and microwave the water and get the temperature just right enough so I can remove the metal from the tube like you see right here. Now, I do want to say this is an extremely fun metal to play with, to do a whole bunch of experiments with. Now, it is hard to melt the entire bar, so what I decided to do was actually put everything in a cup, no tube, put some water in it, and then microwave it. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. Now, what family does the gallium belongs to? It actually belongs to the boron family, group 13, all right? Gallium was actually discovered in 1875 by Paul Imau. Honestly, I never heard of this gallium before. I never seen a precious metal. I was just on YouTube one day and it just said, hey, this metal right here melts in the palm of your hand. And that pretty much ignite all the thoughts in my brain. And I said, hey, you know what? I have to get it. Where can I get it? And like I said before, I have the link down in the description below if I spark some interest in your mind. All right, you guys can get it on Amazon. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys ever heard of this before? Or this is the first time you guys are hearing about it? Comment down below. Let the community know. Now, I do want to say it is a very messy metal. It's gonna get your hands dirty so i do say wear a glove i didn't know about it at first but now i said hey you know what i have to get a glove because my hands are too dirty now i'm not gonna lie when i first received this i had a blast playing with it i did so much experiments with this and it was real fun you guys will have a blast doing it now i will say once you have your fun and once you conduct all your experiments it does become boring all right, so I just put it back in the tube and there's no other use for me to play with it anymore. All right, so here's some fun facts about gallium. Gallium is considered to be non-toxic, so no harmful effects with it. Gallium is a silvery glass-like soft metal in sites close to the non-metal in the periodic table. And its metallic properties aren't as obviously metallic as other metals. Solid gallium is brittle and it's a poorer electrical conductor than lead. Gallium has the second largest liquid range in any element and is one of the few metals that is actually liquid in room temperature, melting in your own bare hands. The other metals in this property are celsium, francium, and mercury. Bromine is the only non-metallic element 
that is liquid around room temperature. Gallium also has the unusual property that, like water, expands when it freezes. Now, some of the uses for galliums are low melting gallium alloys are used in some medical thermometers as a non-toxic subtitles for mercury. Now, I do have a couple of more experiments that I wanna actually show you guys, but this one, I wanna actually see what happens when it's in a liquid form and I pour it in ice. Now, let's see. Put on some slow motion here and it looks very satisfying. It's like it's water, to be honest with you. It flows just like water as it goes in there. It looks practically just like water, except silver water. But as soon as you put it in the ice, what happens to it is it just turns right back into a solid. As you can see, it takes the shape of the bottom of the cup right there, and you have to take it out and you actually get to see the shape. Taking out was a bit hard. I just had to put my hands in there and I took it out. It was just pretty much that easy. But you can see it's right back with the ice itself, the ice cooling the metal down. It took it right back to a solid shape. Easy breakable, as you can see. Like I said before, it's very messy. You're gonna have a hard time trying to make sure you don't lose any pieces, but hey, it comes with the territory, all right? Now for the last and final test, I wanna give you guys a visual, all right? So this is right here is silver, pure silver. It's a one ounce silver bar right there. And silver's melting point is actually 961.8 Celsius, which means that I can torch it and it will take time for it to melt, all right? But I'm not gonna melt it. I'm just gonna show you that, hey, it's not melting. Now I'm gonna show you guys how it is with the gallium. Give me a moment here. Let me clear out the way for you guys, all right? <clears throat> Let's go. Next, so you can see I put the gallium in the bowl that's already hot because of the torch already, and you guys can already see it's already melting. So it shouldn't take that long after I torch it. But let's torch it and find out how fast would it take. So we're putting it on the torch right now, and you guys can see that it's already starting to melt extremely fast. It's just melting. So within seconds, we can see that it's already fully melt. It's fully a liquid state. It's no longer a metal. And the thing about it is, when I got it in solid shape, it was extremely hard just to bend. I couldn't even break it apart, but look how fast that it melted just in room temperature. But guys, I had a wonderful time. This was a great experience. Like I said, if you guys want some gallium, it's down in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up comment down below and have a wonderful day and don't forget never forget to always work and grind